Okay, everyone, welcome back to Mike's Yoga Channel and welcome to this full body yoga for tennis players. When you're ready, roll your mat, grab some water, and let's get started. Okay, everyone, so let's begin today's practice coming into a seated position of your choice. Your legs can be crossed, or like me, you can have one foot in front of the other here. And we'll begin with a nice side body stretch. So let's inhale, bring our arms up towards the sky, and then exhale, plant the right hand down in line with the right hip, and just simply reach that left arm over making sure both seat bones are firmly rooted in the mat here. You should feel a nice stretch on the left side body. Exhale, come back up to center. Again, let's inhale, lift both hands up. Exhale, plant the left hand in the mat in line with the left hip and just reach that right arm over. Breathing into the right side body. Exhale, come back to center. Again, let's inhale, lift both hands up towards the sky. This time we'll come into a twist. So exhale, twisting to our right. So our right hand, right arm coming behind us, acting as a second spine. And your left hand can rest on your, your right leg. Just make sure you avoid the right knee. You want to protect the knee here. And as you inhale, try and lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, just gently twist. Exhale, come back to center. Let's take it over to the other side. So let's inhale, bring the hands up once again. Exhale, this time twisting to our left. So our left hand, left arm coming behind us. Right hand resting on the right thigh, avoiding, or sorry, right hand resting on the left thigh, just making sure you avoid the left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, gently twist. Exhale, slowly come back to center. From here, we'll come into all fours. So stacking the hands right underneath the shoulders, keeping the fingers spread wide, stacking the knees right underneath the hips, tops of the feet pushing into the mat here as well. And we'll do a few rounds of cat-cow. So let's inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine, moving with your breath. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round. Let's do one more, moving with your breath. From here, let's just come into a nice neutral position. And from here, let's extend the right leg up long, curling the toes, and let's just simply rock back and forth here. And then from here, let's step our right foot over our left and look back over our left shoulder, back at our right foot. Exhale, come back to center. Let's take it over to the other side. Extending that left leg long, curling the toes, rocking back and forth here. And then from here, stepping our left foot over our right, looking back over our right shoulder at our left foot. Exhale, slowly come back to center. 
From here, we'll make our way into a puppy pose. So keeping the legs exactly where they are, the hips back over the knees. And from here, let's just extend our arms out long, melting our chest forward. You can let your forehead rest in the mat here, really breathing in into the upper body. Exhale, let's just shift forward onto our stomachs. From here, we'll come into a high cobra. So, planting the hands into the mat right underneath the shoulders, hugging the elbows in. Let's just simply lift ourselves up, opening up the heart, opening up the chest once again. Feel free to roll your shoulders back, open up even more. And then from here on your next exhale, let's shift it back, coming into a downward facing dog. Great job, you guys. In this down dog, feel free to pedal out your feet, really breathing into the back of the legs. Once again, keeping your fingers spread wide, hands actively pushing into the mat. And then from here on your next inhale, let's lift that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, step the right foot up in between the hands, lower the left knee down, left shoelaces down. From here, we'll come into a low lunge. So let's inhale, bring our arms up towards the sky. And in this low lunge, let's make sure our right knee is stacked over the right ankle. And let's keep our hips in one line. So for a lot of us, we might have to draw our right hip back just a little bit and bring our left hip forward. Make sure to breathe here. Great stretch for the hips and the psoas muscle. On your next exhale, let's plant the hands down and we'll step it back to downward facing dog. When you're ready, we'll take it over to the other side. So let's inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Step the left foot up in between the hands. Lower the right knee down, right shoelaces down. Inhale, bring the arms up. Finding low lunge on this side. So again, left knee over the left ankle. And on this side, we might have to draw our left hip back, bring our right hip forward, keeping the hips a nice one line. Core slightly engaged here, breathe. On your next exhale, let's plant the hands and then we'll step it back to downward facing dog. Awesome job, you guys. From here, let's make our way onto our backs. And once we get to our backs, let's keep the soles of the feet planted in the mat here. From here, we'll come into a bridge pose. So let's inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky. Shimmy the shoulders underneath, clasping your hands together. If you have a block, you can place it in between your knees. If you don't have a block, you can just imagine one there. So you don't want your knees coming out wide. You want them nice and straight. And we'll take a couple breaths here. On your next inhale, let's bring our hands up towards the sky. Come up onto the tiptoes and then exhale, 
Slowly lower the spine back to the mat. And we'll take a constructive rest. So bringing the feet as wide as the mat, letting the knees knock in towards each other. You can have one hand on your belly, the other one on your heart. From here, we'll come into our final pose, a reclined butterfly. So just simply bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the knees open up wide, letting the hips open up. You can keep your hands where they are, or you can rest them down by your sides. Feel free to close your eyes here as well. I encourage you to stay here for as long as you like, or if you want, we can rock back up into a seated position of your choice. And wherever you are, let's bring our hands together at our hearts. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me today. Feel free to practice the sequence before your tennis game or after, or just on one of your off days. From here, let's bring our hands up to our third eye. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much.